the von Mises trace is given as sigma prime which is equal to sigma 1 minus sigma 2 whole square plus sigma 2 minus sigma 3 whole square plus sigma 3 minus sigma 1 whole square divided by 2 and whole thing in the under root sign will be the von Mises trace and for distortion as a theory we have a factor of safety is same as SYT divided by von Mises stress. Now if we apply the distortion energy theory for a two dimensional that is for plane stress. So consider here a plane state of a stress where sigma x is the stress along the x axis, tau xy is the shear stress and sigma y is the stress along y direction. So using sigma x, sigma y, tau xy we can calculate two principal stress one is sigma a and other is sigma b and this value of sigma a and sigma b is same as sigma x plus sigma y divided by 2 plus minus under root of sigma x minus sigma y divided by 2 whole thing square plus tau x y square and the plane stress we can convert into three dimensional stress in that case we have two principal stresses will be sigma a and sigma b so let assign the value of sigma 1 is equal to sigma a sigma 2 is equal to sigma b and the third principal stress will assign equal to 0 so in generalized i am writing this equation so we can calculate here the own missile stress so we have own missile stress which is represented by sigma prime is equal to sigma 1 is same as equal to sigma a so we have sigma a sigma 2 is equal to sigma b is sigma b whole square plus we have sigma 2 minus sigma 3 sigma 3 is 0 sigma 2 is same as equal to sigma b so in this case we will get here sigma b square plus sigma 3 is 0 minus of sigma 1 square will be sigma a square so we have sigma a square divided by 2 and you have to take again the power equal to 1 by 2 so this one is a von Mises stress in the case of plane stress we can expand this term here we will get sigma prime that is the von Mises stress is same as equal to sigma a square minus 2 times of sigma a into sigma b minus sigma b square whole square will be equal to plus sigma b square plus we have sigma b square plus we have sigma a square whole thing is divided by 2 and again we have to take the power equal to 1 by 2 so we have sigma a and sigma a is 2 times of sigma a square sigma b plus sigma b whole square equal to 2 times of sigma b square minus 2 times of sigma a sigma b so in this case we get one stress equal to 2 times of sigma a square plus 2 times of sigma b square minus 2 times of sigma a into sigma b and whole thing is divided by 2 and again the power equal to 1 by 2 2 and 2 will be get cancelled and we get a simplified form of the one stress so simplified form of the one stress in the case of plane stress will be simply equal to sigma a square plus sigma b square minus sigma a into sigma b and we have power equal to 1 by 2 so 2 in numerator and 2 in denominator is gate cancel to develop the stress envelope in the case of one missile stress for plane stress we will equate the value of sigma prime with the value of SYT so we have sigma prime which is same as equal to sigma a square plus we have sigma b square minus sigma a into sigma b whole power is equal to 1 by 2 at fence we have factor of safety is equal to 1 so we have to equate this value with equal to SYT that is we have sigma a square plus sigma b square minus sigma a into sigma b and this 1 by 2 will shift to the right in that case we will get SYT square this equation can be written as sigma a by SYT whole square plus sigma v divided by SYT whole square minus sigma a by SYT this term will couple in one bracket second term will be sigma b divided by SYT 
on the right hand side we have equal to 1 this equation is similar to the equation of Phillips which one is x square divided by a square plus we have y square divided by b square equal to 1 so this equation is nothing but the equation of a ellipse but this ellipse is rotated by an angle of 45 degree so this one is representing the equation of ellipse and is a rotated ellipse so we have an equation of ellipse rotated at an angle of 45 degree the ellipse which is representing the stress envelope for distortion energy theory is passing through SYT at the boundary condition and we have is represent here the semi axis that is the semi major axis and the distance OA is same as equal to root 2 times SYT and if you draw the perpendicular here that is OB OB represent here the semi minor axis so OB represent here the semi minor axis which is OB which is equal to under root of 2 by 3 into SYT and you recall here this angle is same as equal to the angle 45 it means that on this line we have sigma A and sigma B are identical value so for this line we have sigma A is equal to negative of sigma B because angle is 45 and we have equal value of principal stress A sigma A and sigma B this one is called as shear diagonal let's see here we have sigma prime which is given as sigma a square plus sigma b square minus sigma a sigma b so this value is nothing but sigma prime square is syt square let's say equation number one and in this equation if we substitute for sigma a and sigma b as sigma x plus sigma y by 2 plus minus under root of sigma x minus sigma y by 2 square 2 plus tau xy square and we'll solve this equation in that case we will get the von Mises stress as sigma prime is equal to under root of sigma x square minus sigma x into sigma y plus we have sigma y square plus we have three times of tau xy square so this is another expression you can remember for the von Mises stress in terms of sigma x and sigma y and tau xy so this point here C represent the boundary condition so C represent here the boundary condition and on C we have sigma A value is same as equal to sigma B is equal to S S Y as far as the shear diagonal is considered and we have sigma A equal to minus sigma B that represent the case of pure torsion whenever we have pure torsion in that case the value of sigma x equal to 0 sigma y will be equal to 0 and tau xy at point c discussion here is about the fence point equal to c will be same as equal to s s y so we can put this value back into sigma prime and we can equate this value at the fence with equal to s y t if i make a square here i will get sigma x square equal to 0 minus sigma x into sigma y is 0 plus sigma y is 0 plus we have 3 times tau x y square is same as s s y square is equal to will be s y t square so the torsional shear strength in the case of distortion energy theory will be s y t divided by root 3 so this one is for distortion energy theory already we have done the maximum shear stress theory for maximum shear stress we have s s y is equal to s y t divided by 2 root 3 is a lower value as compared to 2 so s s y will be higher value as compared to s s y given by m s s t and therefore m s s t is supposed to be the most conservative theory among all theory let's check this on trace envelope in the stress envelope i can overlap the graph of mssd with the distortion energy so here the ellipse is representing the distortion energy and i will plot here 
MSST. MSST we have a square in the quadrant 1 and quadrant 3. So this boundary representing the MSST that is the maximum shear stress theory as well as in quadrant 3 also we have a square. In the quadrant 2 you have to join SYT with SYT and the quadrant 4 also you have to join SYT with SYT. So this envelope we are visualizing is M s s t so it is supposed that if the point is here this will be a safe as compared to distortion energy but unsafe as compared to msst and therefore msst is the most conservative theory of failure among all theory of failure but in practically but practically distortion energy is theory is preferred as compared to msst here this value is representing the torsional shear strength in the case of msst and we have torsional shear strength in the case of MSST is equal to SYT divided by 2. And this total value from this point to the fence is representing the torsional shear strength in the case of distortion energy theory is SYT divided by root 3. 1 by root 3 is 0 0.577 and 1 by 2 is 0 0.5. So we have torsional shear strength given by MSST is equal to 0.5 times the L stress in tension and we have torsional shear strength given by distortion energy will be equal to 0.577 of SYT. Since here the torsional shear strength due to distortion energy is a higher value as compared to the torsional shear strength due to MSST and therefore we claim here that MSST is more conservative as compared to other theories. Both theory are applicable for ductile material but practically only the distortion energy theory is preferred. So distortion energy theory, we have to first calculate the von Mises stress. Von Mises stress in the first equation is given as under root of sigma 1 minus sigma 2 whole square plus sigma 2 minus sigma 3 whole square plus sigma 3 minus sigma 1 whole square and is divided by 2. So this equation you have to remember in the case of three dimensional. Same equation we can write in the plane stress as under root of sigma 1 square plus sigma 2 square minus 2 times of sigma 1 into sigma 2. This is equation written in the form of principal stresses and one more equation we have in the form of sigma x and sigma y which is given as sigma x square plus sigma y square minus sigma x into sigma y plus 3 times of tau x y square. So what is the data given to you according to that use the proper equation and this value of sigma prime which one is the von Mises stress is same as equal to SYT divided by factor of safety n. This value is also equal to SYT divided by factor of safety n in the case of distortion energy theory. Already we have proved here that the maximum shear stress theory will fail if you have a hydrostatic stress. In the case of hydrostatic stress, all the three stresses are equal. That is the value of sigma 1 is same as equal to sigma. Sigma 2 is also equal to sigma and sigma 3 is equal to sigma. In the case of MSST, which is defined as tau max which is given by sigma 1 minus sigma 3 divided by 2 is same as equal to SYT by 2 divided by factor of safety n. Since here sigma 1 minus sigma 3 will be equal to 0 so this theory will going to fail because we are getting the value of tau max is equal to 0. So the theory will fail. Similarly, the von Mises stress which is given as sigma prime 
will be equal to sigma 1 minus sigma 2 whole square plus sigma 2 minus sigma 3 whole square plus sigma 3 minus sigma 1 whole square divided by 2 is equal to SYT by n. So since here sigma 1 minus sigma 2 whole square will generate 0, sigma 2 minus sigma 3 will also generate 0, sigma 3 minus sigma 1 square again generate equal to 0. So in this case our one misses stress will come out equal to 0. So both this theory that is the maximum shear stress theory and the distortion energy theory will fail if we have a hydrostatic stress. Hydrostatic stress we can't use the MSST and the distortion energy theory. So both this theory will fail in the case of hydrostatic stress condition that is all the stress are same in magnitude and direction. We can't use MSST, we can't use distortion. So only theory left with us is the maximum principal stress theory. The video you are watching is from the app which is the more class app available on Google store and in this app we will cover all subjects involved in mechanical engineering for GATE. Join the course directly from your mobile. The link is given here.